Hi, my name is Zach Brown. I'm a SolidWorks support tech at Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save your custom views in such a way that they will be available in other SolidWorks documents. And I'll also show you a couple of cool tips on how to quickly set up custom view orientations. So for example, what we're looking at is a standard isometric view of a cooling skid. And this is standard based off of the standard front, top, and right view. But what I really want to do is show a total of four isometric views from the perspective of each corner. And this is something that designers typically do when making drawings or weldments. So oftentimes what we end up doing is recreating the same custom view orientations in each part or assembly to show our designs from these different perspectives. So if you are currently doing this, then this is going to be a real time saver for you. So to get started, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up three isometric views. Before I found out about this neat little trick, I'm going to show you how I used to set up isometric views. And that was to like change my front view so that I would have a different isometric view. So right now, if I hit my space bar and go to my front view, this is the front view and the standard isometric view is the one we we're looking at. So what I would do is change my front view by using the update standard views. And I would make like that my new front view. And that would give me a new isometric view to which then I would save as a new view. So I would call that like ISO one or two, hit okay, and then repeat the process. Uh, which I won't do for time's sake, but at the end, once I had all my isometric views done, I would go to reset standard views, and then that would give me my original ISO view back, and I would have my new isometric views. So it was pretty time consuming. I'll go ahead and delete this one, and now I'll show you a quick way to do this, and that's just by holding shift down and clicking the Y axis on the reference triad. When you do that, it essentially rotates 90 degrees about the Y axis. So then you can go ahead and hit your space bar, add a new view, let's call that ISO 2, hit OK, and then repeat the process. Hold shift down, click your Y axis, rotate another 90, save that as ISO 3, and you repeat it one more time and that will give you all four and you can also do this about the Z or X axis another neat trick not a lot of people are aware of is that you can control how the normal to command reorients your part and this is a question we get ever so often how do I get normal to to position my part in a way that I want it to and as you probably already know it's not always the way you want it. For instance, I'm going to take a look at a top view of this part. Now, yes, I do have a top view in my standard views, but let's just say you click a face that you want normal to your viewing. You hit normal to, and it gives you exactly what you want, but let's say you want it rotated 90 degrees from the angle that we're currently looking at it. So you would have to hold your Alt key down and hit your left or right arrow and get that. 90 degrees and then hit your spacebar and you know save that as a new view if you wanted to but you can actually predefine the face you want normal to the viewing and the face you want to go towards the top so to do that what we'll do is hold control down we'll click the face that we want normal to and while holding control down we're going to click the face that we want to go towards the top. Then hit normal to, and you'll see that it reorients our part exactly the way we told it to from the beginning. So now that I have my custom view saved to the current document, I'm gonna show you how to save those to be available in other documents. So we'll just pull up the orientation dialog box by hitting the space bar again. And you'll notice that we have our views that we'd made earlier. If you hover over them, you'll see a save icon. Hovering over the save icon gives you the tooltip. It says save to SolidWorks. So just click the save. Hit my spacebar again to get the orientation dialog pull up again. 
and we'll do the same thing for ISO 3. And I'm just going to pull it up one more time and you'll notice we have a saved views and you'll see ISO 2 and ISO 3 with checkboxes next to them. That just means they're saved to SolidWorks. And I have another weldment that I've been working on. I'm going to go ahead and switch to that. And I want those same views in this weldment as well. So I won't have to recreate them this time. I'll just pull up my orientation dialog. You'll see saved views. And from here, we can turn on those views for this document. You'll see a checkbox next to the views that we have saved. You just click the box next to each one. And you'll see as we're doing that, it adds it to the orientation dialog. And you'll notice the little globe symbol there. That just means this is a global view. So we can switch to the different views by hitting space and clicking on the name views. And that's basically how you save views to SOLIDWORKS. If you want to delete those, then you pull up the orientation dialog box and go to save views. And you can uncheck them. That's just going to remove them from the document. Or you'll see the red X. If you hover over that, it gives you a tooltip, delete view from SOLIDWORKS. So if you click the red X, it's going to delete it from SOLIDWORKS and you will not be able to access that view in other documents. That view will still be there on the documents that you have it turned on, but not in future documents. So that's how you save views across all documents. And um, that pretty much wraps up this video. So I hope this helped and thank you for watching.